Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of my RPG tutorial. Alright, beautiful, so this should be the last episode in the trade series. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the bottom of it. So let's drag our player in, come to our trade canvas. Let's go accept you are. Other player, other player accepted UI. Other player has accepted. Alright, cool. Apply that. That's a new variable, public bull. Public bull. Accept public bull other accept and public project except you are and public game objects. Other accept. You are. Right, you accept. Oh, it's not the other function. Make sure we're in the other function. You accept. Accept UI by set active. True. Else. Accept UI dot set active. False. Copy paste that. Add other. Holy void accept button. Okay. If other accepts equals false. On our PC, public void accept. We'll go accept equals true.
and polyvoid other accept. Other accept equals true. So if other accept is so the other person hasn't accepted, then we'll go deck component photon view so RPC accept RPC target dot all Make another one of these. Finish trade. Else, finish trade. Right down here we'll go accept equals false and other accept equals false copy this, put in finish trade We're just going to add other dash dot add item transcript dot other transcript idea which is this thing. Ask her to remove item train. Yeah, that sounds about right. So let's put other in front of all these. All right, and actually, we're just gonna go ahead and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and remove these. You can save that. Class Unity. Back onto player. Except you are, I'll play except that you are. Turn the trade canvas off. Plug play prefab. Alright, so let's come to the trade canvas. Go down the accept button. Click a little plus. Drag our player on. We'll go networking and we'll go accept button. I'll play prefab. 
Alright. So in the networking script, we're going to go local once. You have to function, we'll go if once equals false and trade player transform dot get component photon u dot rbc other except rbc target dot all Oh, so that is fuck that up. If once and except, then once equals true. And trade player transform dot get component. First on view dot RPC. Other except obviously target dot all all right cool all right then we're also gonna go Trade player transform dot run and finish trade. Alright, that could be all we need, so let's give it a shot. Alright, let's give this a shot. Alright, on the left we got some wood. On the right we got a cape. Let's get the wood to the right. And the case to the left. Wood to the right and carry to the left. Alright, gorgeous. So that's I think that's trading complete. Actually no, there's one more thing we need to add. One last little thing. All right, well, to fix that glitch we just had there, we're going to go once equals false. And now, so at the moment, if we accept, the players can still change the items. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to Network script dot trend player transform dot get component networking dot accept equals false. Network script dot accept 
equals false other accepts other accepts and last of all network screw dot trade player transform the component once equals false Wicked dot once equals false We we'll copy and paste that. Save that and let's give it a build. Alrighty. So let's give it a shot. Yep, so that works. Let's have a look at this areas. Alright, so let's come to our trading script. Let's go if no screw dot trade player transform is not equal null. It's not equal null. Save that. <coughs> All right. Let's go ahead. That's fine. So ring on the left, bow on the right. So we want the ring on the right, bow on the left. No, nope, take it out. Decline. Still got a lot, I've got a lot of items, she's just beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. Oh, the pain. Why couldn't it just work? Well, we're close. I shall be back. All right, I'm pretty sure I've got it. Um, I'm pretty sure it was just being difficult but just because it can, but I'm pretty sure I found a workaround, which is all good. So we have four items here on the right. Accept. And now we've got our four items on the other side. So now trading is finally, finally complete. Now let me show you how I did it. All right, so here... In finish trade, our finish trade function. Now it goes if trade script or other trade style one it does not equal zero. All this, I just cancel, go rid of that. I made eight new variables trade one, trade two, trade three, trade one, Q, trade two, Q, trade three, Q, trade four, Q. I, in finish trade, I would trade one equals trade script or other trade style one ID. 
etc etc trade one q trade stop i was trade stop one q etc etc and then i start a cure chain called swap and then he goes you to turn new wave second 0 0.1 and he goes you've trade one just not equal zero trade one equals 39 so if it's a multiple dollar script or add item and blah blah add item and then it waits for another 0 0.1 seconds and then it does the same thing for trade two 0 0.1 seconds trade three and that is exactly how i did that that is exactly how i did that so yeah i'm pretty happy that that's finally over took 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 a fair chunk of time but it is all beautifully done all right thank you so much for watching everyone i shall see you in the next episode bye